guys welcome back to my channel welcome to another video in this video we are going to be doing my bridal trial makeup tutorial I guess I don't really know what I'm gonna name this video but what it pretty much is is just like a trial of me doing makeup um when I had done my get ready with me or when I first posted my engagement video with Jack a lot of you guys had asked if I'm going to show you guys like some of the looks that I'm thinking about doing and things like that and it was a really good idea and I at that time hadn't thought about it but then when I started getting the comments I'm like makes sense might as well bring you along on the journey um, and might as well you know test out and try out different products that and different eye looks that I'm thinking of because my colors are navy blue mustard gold and or mustard yellow mustard gold whatever and it's like this slate blue which slate blue is kind of like a blue gray um, it's a really pretty color and like no one ever uses it so that's just like my accent color but the main colors are mustard and navy so the guys are going to be wearing navy suits and the bridesmaids my two bridesmaids are going to be wearing mustard yellow dresses and then the two groomsmen will be wearing mustard colored bow ties and my mate my Maid, maid of honor because <laughs> she's not married my maid of honor is going to be wearing the slate blue color and his um, best man is going to be wearing the slate blue bow tie so and I don't know what color bow tie Jack's going to be wearing but I think I'm going to wear a white dress I think I'm going to go with white white um and our accent color or our um our not stone our metal is gold so like gold is like I don't really want any silver I'm not a big silver girl like although silver and gold both look good on my skin tone i'm personally more of a gold girl so i uh, don't want any silver at my wedding <laughs> i've already told my grandma i told um my cousin's mom who's doing my cake table and all that i'm like gold 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 please gold no silver i just don't like the whole bling and silver and i don't like any of that so um i'm thinking that i'm gonna go more so with this look uh neutral with a little bit of sparkle i have been thinking of doing like a just a neutral smoky eye all matte um because i know that my dress is gonna have like a little bit of bling to it not like bling but like it's gonna have it's the fabric that's over the like I think I'm gonna have the bot like the body like the bodice bodice like the underlaying of the dress like a nude color like my skin tone and then the overlay is gonna be white I think that's how I might do it I'm not sure I haven't gone to do my second consultation yet but that's at least what I was thinking when I went for the first consultation so um, I'm thinking that I'm gonna go, either go with a matte neutral eye and a matte lip so pretty like pretty bland <laughs> or I'm gonna go with a little bit of shimmer so if that is something that you guys are interested in then just please keep on watching okay so I brought you guys in to my face um, because I just felt like I was far away for at least the eye portion so the palette that I think I'm going to be using is the tart well in this video I'm gonna use the tartlet toasted palette I remember when this palette first came out I was like oh my gosh that was so gorgeous it's so warm and just pretty there's a nice mix of mattes and shimmers in this palette I really enjoyed this palette and also the uh, tartlet and bloom palette love that palette I enjoy this one a little bit more like the color scheme because I haven't actually used this one but I enjoy the color scheme more because of it being a little more warm but their palettes just smell so gosh darn good and the palette that I'm going to be using mostly is the Desi Kitty Frankation palette I love this shade just a kiss absolutely love that shade it is such a stunning like just a kiss just a light little like champagne but sparkly I it's just such a pretty eyeshadow so I'm gonna be using both of these and I'm first going to go into the Tartlet Toasted Palette, and I'm going to take the shade Warmth right here. I don't know why I'm, like, explaining what I'm doing, because this is, like, a trial, but just in case you want to follow along, if you like the in look, um, and I'm going to just dust this into the crease. This is actually pretty warm. This is a Morphe M441. I didn't expect this to be as orange, so I probably wouldn't do this color. Yeah, it's a little too warm, but the one in the Desi Katie palette I don't really like too much. Like, I feel like it's a little too dark, but I'm going to take it anyways. This is Chiro, and just take that on the same brush. It's a little darker, and just kind of go in the crease. I feel like this color is just a little too dark for me and my liking. Um, probably for my wedding color, I'll probably end up using 
spice from um the morphe 3502 palettes because that's my favorite but the morphe 3502 palettes doesn't have dark enough colors like uh like browns so that is why i didn't pull it out for this look but but yeah so next i'm gonna take jeans I think this is Cheens. Yes, Cheens, which is the brown. I'm going to take an Anastasia Beverly Hills A10 brush and put this into the crease. Now, this color is actually pretty dark. It's actually dark, and I actually really like this color. And I don't think I'm going to cut my crease for this particular look. I think I'm going to keep it pretty, like, simple. Because I don't think I want to do a half-cut crease for my makeup, but then again, I don't really know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> it's like the day of, I'm probably gonna sit down and film like a get ready with me and just kind of like let my creative juices flow and just whatever I decide to go with, I go with. But as far as like right now, like now that I'm like thinking about it, I'm kind of like thinking I probably won't do a half cut crease and I probably won't do liner either. Cause I just feel like liner kind of sometimes ruins a look and it makes it look a little too harsh. And I'm just not for that. So I don't think I'm gonna go with that. So now I'm gonna go back into the Tartlet and Bloom palette, Take Fireside, which is down here. I'm taking this with a Sigma E25 and just put this into the crease. This is a little bit darker. And this is just going to stay right in the socket. Forgot how much I like this brush for just getting right into the socket and adding definition. It's a really nice, really nice. So the highlighter that I'm going to go in with for my cheek, I think it's a little too, like, like golden. So I'm going to take Midame and pop that onto my brow bone because I feel like I need just a little bit yeah like a little bit of shimmer up there but like it was a little too matte so just a little bit of mid may and then a little blend and then now i'm going to take the nyx pigment primer and put this on my lid and this is just going to help just to kiss kind of stick a little bit better And I'm just applying it right where my, just right where my, um, my socket line is. And then once again, go in with, well, not once again, but I'm going to go in with just a kiss right here. And I'm taking a uh, MAC 242 brush. Like, I honestly need Dose of Colors to come out with this in a single form because this shade is just so pretty and I know I'm going to hit pan and, like, I don't want to buy an entire eyeshadow palette just for one shadow, but this shadow is so pretty. I've used it on a couple of brides already and it's just the perfect champagne. It adds a little bit of sparkle. But it's not glitter. It's such a pretty color. And you can even apply it with your finger to get more pigmentation. And out in the outer corner, I'm just kind of fading this out a little further so it's not like right at the end of my eye I'm just kind of fading it out with whatever is left on the brush and I don't think I'm gonna apply liner I don't think so but I might actually smudge just a little on the outer edge of the dark brown eyeshadow, but I have to get a smudge brush, so. So I actually picked up an E15 flat definer and I'm taking some of Fireside. And I'm gonna keep this just really tight. I'm just gonna go right to where like my lashes start.
just like that yeah I think I'll do it like that and just like really close to the lash line not too smudgy but just like a nice line to add some definition so I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye and apply mascara and for lashes I'm probably gonna use the Mykonos lashes for today's look just because I don't know they were just the ones that I grabbed and I hadn't used them in quite some time so I'm probably gonna pop on Mykonos and then we will do the face we're actually gonna do the face today so hold tight <laughs> all right you guys so now that I'm done with that I don't put on my lashes usually until after my face makeup I don't know, I just don't. But the first primer I'm going to go in with is the Becca Evermatt Poreless Priming Perfector. Um, the reason I do this is because my nose and my center of my forehead gets really oily. So I just go ahead and use this. And this primer is really, really, really good for oily skin. It's not something I personally like to apply all over the place. But if you're really oily everywhere, then definitely give it a go. Um, but I just prefer to place it into my nose area and also my chin. For some reason I get really oily on my chin and then like over the brows but I'm also going to use another primer because this one's just good for the nose and I'm gonna use my cover effects blurring primer because this bad boy blurs the pores which I have really large ones in the cheek area and we can't have large pores in our pictures right So my next step is actually applying this um, IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Press Powder and it's just a translucent setting powder and I'm going to apply this right over where I applied that mattifying powder mainly because and this is a trick that I learned like two years ago and I made a video before everyone started doing the whole powder before foundation trick. <laughs> And then like that went viral and I'm like, okay, I guess I need to change my title, but pretty much you just set your, your skin or your primer everywhere where you get oil, oily and that translucent powder just kind of soaks up any excess oil underneath of the skin. So I just really make sure to like go over my brows and all of that because when you think about it, I'm going to be wearing this makeup for about eight hours, if not longer, and I need my foundation to kind of stay on. And for foundation today, I'm going to use my LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation in the shade Toast. I used this in yesterday's video, and I was like, why haven't I picked this foundation up? Like, this foundation is so, so gorgeous and so full coverage. So I'm just going to use that, and I'm going to put it onto my skin with this Morphe sponge. And this foundation is a little bit light, a little bit light for me right now, but I'm going to make it work um, because it looks so flawless. But, um... <sighs> What was I going to say? Oh, this foundation isn't like an oily friendly, oily skin friendly. So that is why I never mention it in like my favorite foundations because you can get really oily really fast. It's just such a beautiful foundation. Like I really wish it was more matte, but it's not. Okay, so for concealer, I'm going to use the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. This isn't a surprise. Like, literally, since I bought this concealer, this has been, like, the only concealer that I've used. So, I'm just going to put this in all of the areas where I highlight. And then blend it out with that same Morphe sponge. Okay, so to lock and set all of that into place, I'm going to use this um, ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder first because I'm going to actually use two different um, setting powders, one for my skin and one for my face. Okay, so now since I set that, I just let it sit there a little bit and then I'm just going to take some more of that Bye Bye... Um, bye bye setting powder because I find with this foundation it does transfer and I worry a lot about transfer so I'm just gonna go ahead and just set all of the remaining skin I guess you could say that doesn't have any setting powder on it 
set that so it doesn't transfer. Then while all of that is baking, I'm going to use my Black Radiance Contour Palette with my Pretty Bar brush and just use this to bronze and contour up the skin. Um, I am going to grab another contour powder and just go over it and like the hollows um, because this one just warms up my skin I feel like and I need something with a little bit more definition. Especially since the foundation kind of looks so light. But this is my favorite, favorite, favorite contour kit. Like, absolutely love it. Been using it for the past, like, two years. Like, this and this alone. It's just so good. And I have no problems. Oh, no. <gasps> Fuck. I just spilled my setting powder all over my pants. Look at this. Ugh. So I'm going to take this Becca, um, this is a multitasking perfecting powder contour and deep bronze and I'm going to take a Stelazzi uh, Cheek and Chisel L309 and just use this right into the hollow. It's just going to darken and then I'm going to use it in the corner of my forehead as well. So now I'm just going to brush away all the powder because it doesn't need to sit on my skin too much longer and contour my nose. Now I do know a lot of people don't like their nose to be contoured because, you know, whatever reason, but, um, you know, because they're black and they're proud of their black nose and all this and that and the third and that is fine. That is okay. I just do it because I enjoy doing it and it's become a part of my routine for so long that it feels weird when I don't do it so um nothing more or nothing less it's just what I do and I'm using a Sigma E39 buff and blend eyeshadow brush to do so Okay, so now we have blush. This is my favorite blush. This is Black Radiance's um, True Complexion, or no, Artesian Color Baked Blush in Toasted Almond. So pretty. It's just such a pretty, like, nice, like, natural color. Like, I could apply so much of this blush and, like, it wouldn't, like, overpower or it's just a nice, neutral, muted kind of blush. It's such a pretty brush. Blush on so many different skin tones, but on my skin tone especially, it just doesn't show up as like, oh my gosh, you have red on, or oh my gosh, you have pink on. It's just so pretty. So I like to use that. And it's probably what I'm going to use on my wedding day, honestly. So for highlighter, shout out to my baby brother, Miles. He bought me this Marc Jacobs um, Omega Glaze All Over Foil Luminizer. It is so gorgeous, you guys. Look at this. It's so pretty. It, it Let me swatch it for you guys. And it's so creamy. Like, look at that. So pretty. I haven't used it in the mirror. Like, this product in a whole is just huge. Like, this mirror is huge. Like, it's, it's pretty. So, I'm going to use the BH Cosmetics Highlighting Brush and just apply some to my cheeks. Yes. Oh, my God. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh my gosh, yes! It's so pretty. And it's just buttery. Like, this highlighter was $49. Like, Marc Jacobs is tripping, but... You know, this is only the second Marc Jacobs product I've ever owned. I've owned his Remarkable Foundation, and I absolutely loved it. And I think that foundation was $65, and I absolutely loved it. It was like a gel formula serum foundation, and it was so pretty. But Marc Jacobs would be tripping on the prices. Like, his, his stuff is expensive. So this is a really golden highlighter. and reminds me of that 
Becca highlighter, super golden. It's pretty though. Like I just wanna keep applying it. But what I'm gonna do is take a little bit of Mitame over the top because Mitame is a little more champagne and just like right over, like right in the center just to give it that nice little like champagne touch. And I understand this is a lot. But I'm extra as fuck. So, I understand some brides want to glow from within. But honestly, I don't. Like, I want to be walking down the aisle and someone take a picture of me from the side and be like, Bam, bitch. Like, wow, Lanye is highlighted. Like, that's how I kind of want it to be, so... Uh -huh. And I'm going to put Metame only on the nose because I don't really want the goldenness on my nose. And Metame is my jam. I know it's light, but I was so in love with this one before I found um, Chasing the Sun. It was pretty. I think I'm going to put a little bit of Omega Glaze, just a tiny bit. yeah mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so what I'm gonna do is take a little bit more of Cheens and take that same E25 brush I'm just gonna wipe off the majority of the product and put this right underneath just like a little bit not too much I don't want it to be like crazy smoky but I do want to soften the line out here like where the concealer kind of diffused it a little bit or hardened it because once you go in with your concealer you're just kind of setting it and I don't want it to be that much so and then I'm going to take a little bit of Chitto same brush and just use it underneath and I would put water, like, eyeshadow on my, or, my, what am I thinking of? I would put eyeliner in my waterline, but I don't want nude and I don't want black. So that's when I just leave, like, my natural waterline and just go from there. So the last and final step before I apply um, my setting powder is I'm going to take Candle right down here. It's a really light champagne shade, but it's super pigmented. I'm going to pop that into my inner corner. So now all I need to do is lashes and I'm going to set my face with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Love this stuff. And just... Make sure everything is nice and blended together. So let me do my hair, change my clothes and all of that and I'll be right, right the fuck back. Do y'all know what that reference is? That little girl that took her wig off and she was like, oh, you did not just take your wig off. She was like, I sure did. I sure did. And I better put this shit right the fuck back on. Do y'all know? <laughs> okay, I guess I'm the only one. YouTube it. YouTube it. That little girl's hilarious. Although she needs her ass whoop. The whole, it's just hilarious. <laughs> All right, you guys. So I went ahead and curled my hair. I don't know, I wore it up like in a high bun last time, but the last time I wore it, my mom was like, I really like that. You should wear your hair like that for the wedding. And I don't think I will, but I think I'm going to have it like curled like these pieces, like all over like Juan did. But I just had to do it for this video. Um, but for the lips, I'm going to do nude. I'm just a nude girl. Like for the engagement pictures, I did nude liquid lipstick, but I think for this one, I'm going to do gloss because I love me a glossy nude lip. So I'm going to use my lip liner in Chestnut by Clean Color and line my lips. And 
And then one of my favorite nude glosses is the Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquer in the shade Unreal. This is such a pretty color. And it's really glossy too. I don't think for the wedding I'm going to do a gloss. Just because Boo Boo doesn't like when I kiss him when I have a gloss on, he hates it. So I think for the wedding I might do a liquid lipstick, but maybe for pictures put on a gloss? I don't know. Because I love the way the glossy lips look. Like they just look so luscious and just, <laughs> just, they're just my favorite. But I don't know, Jack doesn't like glossy lips. Alright you guys, so what do you think? I think this look is probably what I'm going to end up doing. I am going to do probably two more looks because I think I have two more looks in mind. I really wanted to use this Tarte like chrome pot, but it's pretty much the same as, um, oh, it's pretty much the same as the eye shadow that I have on. I don't know, but it's super pretty, but I think I might do like two more looks. So this one's sparkly nude. I think I'm going to do like a matte nude and then I don't know what the third look is going to be, but I at least want to do three. So what is this? November? So I'll probably do one in December. Don't mind my lips. They look gross. Blech. So I'll probably do one in, no, I did one in November. So I'll probably do one in December and then maybe another one in January? January is when I'm going to be sending out the invitations. So by January, I at least want to know, like, I kind of have, like, an idea of what I want to do. So, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I actually really love this look. Like, I think this is it. I think this is it. Like, I'm looking at it in the viewfinder. I'm like, this is gorgeous. Like, this is gorgeous. I feel very bridal-esque with this look let me know your thoughts let me know if this is like a winner for you already or if you want to see a couple more looks to see um you know what i want to go with i might actually do like a like a yellow gold kind of look like i did for my um my engagement photos because that's kind of what the girls are going to be wearing and i might put the girls in something like this i don't know i don't know i don't know let me know your thoughts down below i did pop on this dress because it's kind of bridal-ish, so I might be using this for every look, but I would love to know your thoughts down below. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed, and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.